Hi everyone, it's Becky, buyer specialist with Ginger and Company at Keller Williams Realty. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about investing in real estate. So if you don't already know, investing in real estate is a really great way to not only diversify your portfolio, but also to you know build really strong financial wealth. Before you even think about investing in a property, however, you need to really understand and set some goals in place so that you can plan um, a smart business investment strategy. So today I'm going to talk a little bit more about that and three key elements to a successful investment strategy. These include criteria, terms, and network. So first is criteria, and that's really just knowing what to buy. So before you purchase anything, first you need to you need to have a purpose for it. Um, are you looking for something for quick cash flow, more of like a fixer upper or a flip, or something that's going to give you long term investment opportunity like a rental? Um, depending on your answer to that, it you know various things can happen. You could look for a single family, you could look for multifamily, which is you know duplex quads or triplex. Amenities and features in the home will vary depending on what the purpose of the purchase is for. Some are designed for resale, while others might be a great fit for a rental, and then potentially to fix it up later and resell it. Also, you know, a really big part of this is location, 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 location when purchasing investment properties. However, knowing the purpose of your investment property could change the location that you're looking for. While a really hot area right now might be, you know, if you get a deal on a house there, that might be a great opportunity for a flip versus um, finding, you know, a lower priced home in a location that it, it, that's expected to grow tremendously and is up and coming might be ideal for a longer term rental property. So the second aspect and piece of this puzzle is terms, and that's knowing how to buy it. Um, knowing how to buy it in for maximum ROI, which is return on investment. Um, so the things that come into play here are, of course, your offer, your offer price, what you're paying for the property, um, the amount of down payment that you're going to put into it, your interest rate, and then if there's occupancy, if there's tenants in place, is that something that you want? Um, these all matter, you know, in in looking for investment properties. Um, so just a general, you know, rule of thumb is that if you're looking for a single family rental, you want it to be about 0.8 to about 1% of the property market value, meaning your rent needs to be set at that. So for example, if you buy a house for $100,000, your rent should be somewhere between $800 to $1,000. Um, if it's higher, great. If it's lower, maybe that's not the property for you. Also, you know, just generally, the the more you put down, the quicker you pay it off, the quicker you're going to get your investment back. So something to think about is perhaps doing a 15-year mortgage versus a 30-year. Then you're, you know, almost forced into a, a savings account, essentially, because you're having to pay it off quicker. Your um, operational costs are going to be lower, which means your equity is going to be higher sooner. So the third piece of the puzzle is... Um, Building relationships and networks and who to network with. So it's really important to build a strong relationship with um, not only an agent, but also, you know, depend, depending on what your plans are, um, a great contractor, a great property manager, you know, anyone that's going to be a part of your life throughout your investments. Um, if you're looking more into, you know, fixing up homes and flipping them. You're going to need a lot of people involved unless you plan to do the work yourself and are, are capable and qualified to do it. Um, having an agent is really essential because they're going to, they're going to be with you. It's going to be an ongoing relationship. Um, they need to know the market. They need to understand your goals and, you know, somebody that's going to continue to um, seek out great opportunities for you along the way. Having a contractor on hand or, you know, on call is great. Um, a qualified contractor. Let me emphasize that. Um, just to just to be able to ask questions about, uh, possibly even bring to showings to you know kind of give you a quote or just give you an idea of of if it's something that you want to get into. And then, like I said, a property manager. If that is something you know you're going to turn this into um, a lucrative thing, you might not want to handle all these properties. You might need somebody by your side that you can trust that's going to 
um, you know, keep up and maintain the properties and also collect all of the checks um, that you want in your hand uh, and make sure that the, the tenants are paying. So there's so much more to investing in real estate, but that's just, a, you know, a skim of the beginning. If you have more questions, please reach out. We'd love to help. And I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.